what's up Capricorns? You can have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, north note. Cross watchers, you are welcome. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. All my new subscribers, welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So I'm picking up on the energy of someone, someone is still, someone feels like they're still in love with you. Okay. Somebody know that they put you through like hell and hot water, but they like, I still love you. I still want this to work. Let's see what's up, Sunseeds. Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors, my guides, my light, my spirit guides, my holy angels, all angel Michael, please protect me. Watch out the energies from my collective senses. Anything other than I is right, right? Please close this door. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the current energy? You could have been dealing with somebody that played a lot of mind games, okay? Somebody could have been... You could have felt like this person was only with you for the clout because, you know, you make this person look good. Somebody just thought they would just, you know... What's this? Yeah, bad health. This person is stressed out. And it's affecting the health. Yeah. Hmm. Sudden wealth under the bottom. Maybe you guys could have had a level up or a level up or something. Yeah, spirit said, yeah, period. Divine said, period. Sudden wealth with a message. This person could be getting a message that you just, you know, you had a level up. Yeah. Yeah. Message of concern and great fortune. Hmm. Somebody's in concern about your fortune. Give me one more Holy Spirit. Somebody feels like you're a great listener. You still want to talk to. Somebody just missed all of that. I feel like you guys pulled your energy back. Um, maybe this person is popular. Maybe this person, um, you know, maybe um, this person is, you know, that in, in some. But you say, you know what? I'm that too. Like, who, who the hell are you? Now this person is stressed out. Yeah, he was like, who the hell is you? Yes. Fourth person adjudication. A lot of you guys dismiss this person. My adjudication has always been my spiritual um spiritual court. So you could have definitely um cut cords with this person or release this person from your energy because they just wasn't real right. Or your guys could have definitely led you to cut the cords from this person because they wasn't real right at all. You was like I'm the gift, okay? Somebody could have been with somebody for clout, I'm hearing. Somebody is in their thoughts, okay? They're in their thoughts, so I see. Hope there, give me some messages on the bad health, please, and thank you. Bad health, please, and thank you. Yeah, despair and scholar. Whoever this person is, they in despair. I'm getting a five of cups energy. They in regret. Somebody, somebody's in regret over the situation. What you got? It's crying over spilled milk. Things that they shouldn't have done. You know, this is somebody with the style. It's like somebody studying something. Okay, I feel like this person. What they studying is they going back and forth in their head. What they could have did. What they should have did. How they wish they would have did it. Like this is how this person feels. So I see they in despair. Yeah, a lot of you guys went on a beautiful transformation. You guys are happy. You guys are content. Mm. What's this gift card, Holy Spirit? Give me a card on the gift, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. The gift, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. The gift. Yeah, wedding. <laughs> somebody now, somebody want to marry you with the wedding and gift. Now somebody want to marry you. Somebody is realizing like, whoa, you know, I should have treated Mister Sunflower Collector Sunseeds like that. This somebody who I want to lock down. I want to marry. Yeah, look at this. 
Yeah, because they consider you a sweetheart. Young woman, sweetheart, young woman. You could be someone who's very kind. Even if you're not even if you're not this young woman, you just have like this childlike spirit about you. But you're a sweetheart. It's nothing that you want to do for this person. You may call it an adjudication for this person, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, this person sees you as their wife. Somebody sees you as wife and material. Spirit, give me a call on adjudication of fourth person, please, and thank you. This person feeling like they made a big mistake. Adjudication of fourth person. Yeah, adjudication of fourth person is clarified with the death. What did I just say? My adjudication has always been my spiritual court. My spiritual court um card. With this death card and fourth person, it's like you 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 ended something. Or you wanted something to end. You cut your cords. You could have did back to sender. Okay, you could have did something where it was like you you um you separated your energy from this person. This person could have definitely been trying to tamper with your energy, trying to pull you back in. For me to say that, for me to say back to sender. So somebody could have been trying to send you some um trying to trying to bring you back in. But spirit is saying, yeah, this person was a thief. Your guides could have definitely warned you about this person. Yeah, whoever this lover was with the merchant. I can't make it up. This person wanted something from you. It was something about you that they wanted to take. Yeah, cheerfulness. This is somebody that he had laughed. Let's go out to let's go out to dinner. Let's go out to lunch or um, you know, let's hang out. This is somebody this is this is a foe. Laugh in your face the whole time they want to take your place the whole time they got secret motives behind. Look, fortune and reunion. This person probably could have wanted to reconcile with you because of your great fortune or because of what they see you have. Yeah. But the Lloyd and old woman, I feel like um, somebody got a grandmother that's an um, ancestor. Was like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, you're not, uh-uh. Thoughts? Yeah. Somebody thinking about it, it's like, how was you how was you able to cut cords with me? How was you able to know how to move so sufficient? How 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 did you know I didn't mean you no good? How did you know I was only for your fortune? Because they was a damn foe the whole time. Okay? They was a foe. Mm. This person is dealing with misfortune. This person is definitely going to experience some type of bad news. Spirit, give me some more messages from my collective son to your person. What does my collective son see this person walk in the mouth? Please and thank you. Yeah, what did the reminiscing? They're reminiscing about you. Somebody realizing like you the gift, like with the wedding the wife and the gift, like why didn't I wife you? I did everything for clout. I mistreated you. I didn't listen to you. I thought I was better than you. I thought I had enough time. I'm here and I thought you was gonna be patient with me. I thought you was gonna wait on me. Wow. Look at this card. You are the love of my life. You are the love of my life. They realize that. Reminiscent came out where you are the love of my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody realized like you are the gift. But I feel like you're somebody who's very sweet. With that sweetheart, you're very sweet, son sees you very humble. You know, this person probably was just, you know, a little too much for you. But for some of you guys, you was like, it's okay, you know. Some of you guys, you, you know, you probably like a challenge, you know. But you knew that if you wanted to turn up, you could too. But you just, you're just humble. You're very grounded. You let this person show their ass. You let them show their ass just to see, see how far they was going to go. And you cut your ties. You could have talked to God or your ancestors and told them, you know, like, listen, cut the ties with this person or just, or just give me give me clarity. Give me clarity. Give me discernment when it comes to the situation. And they guided you. With the three and the eight, they guided you. Like, close this, close this karmic cycle out. With this deep and depth, this person only wanted what you had. And somebody realizing, yeah, look, I can't, I feel terrible for her and you under the bottom. Wow, look, I can't make it up. I feel terrible for hurting you, and I love you. They feel terrible now. Uh, 
Maybe somebody realized that how they did it, what you know, it was wrong. Okay. Maybe how they, they realized it now. Like, you know, um, how I moved, how I did things, you know, that was wrong. You didn't deserve that. If this person was trying to like steal anything when it comes to your energy, your time, your finances, somebody, they in regret. <laughs> now they want to come back and love you the right way. I'm planning, look, I'm planning on reaching out to you. And what? I'm having sexual fantasies about you. I felt it early, like this person could have been trying to pull you in energetically in some type of way. They say, I miss you. So I wasn't right. So I wasn't right with this person. That person is seeing somebody is, is realizing who you are. But Spirit is saying, this person always knew you. Who you were. Somebody thought that because you was a sweetheart, you would be patient, you would mean where you would stick around. Give me a card on this. Give me a more messages, Holy Spirit. From my collective Celsius person. Ooh. Look how this flew up like this. Like, whew. And it fell right out on bad health. I check on you from afar. So whoever this person is, they watching you, they stalking you. They are watching you, okay? It says, I check on you from afar and it, and it fell out like right on bad health. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So this person is stressed out because however this person is watching you, this person see that you living your life, living your life like it's golden. Things are still moving for you. Things are still clicking for you. You're still doing good with yourself. And so my nose itching. This person doesn't like that. It's giving them bad health because somebody feels like, damn, I'm supposed to be right there with you. I counted you out. Whew. Yeah. By you moving on gracefully, it's giving somebody else bad health. I don't know what this person took you for. Yeah. It says I feel empty without you. Yeah, this person that's why this person having bad health. Mm. Let's pull from the tarot, Sunsi. Somebody feels like a dose of your love, a dose of being in your energy can heal them. Wow, Sunstein. Somebody feel like a dose of your love or just being in your energy feel, it can heal them. Wow. Crack the deck on Queen of Wands and the Sun. You guys could be in a beauty industry and in fashion. Or you just a bad man jam. <laughs> Queen of Wands to the sun. Damn. Somebody feels like just being in your energy, being around you, you can just heal them. Somebody want to show you in so many ways. Like, they want to show you something different now. Now this person... See you know what? Damn. Somebody feel like a dose of you. It, it would just it cure them just being around you. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Four of Wands. With the Eight of Wands under the bottom. This person could be at a distance for you, but somebody, somebody sees you as the person. This person also could be very possessive over you. Meaning to where if this person found out that you was with anybody else. If you think they're in bad health now from just watching you live your life, let this person find out that you with somebody else. Ooh, child. Holy Spirit. With the chariot. Somebody one thing, yeah, nine of cups. With the two of cups. Somebody regret juggling you. They do. They see you as they wish fulfillment. This person could be driving around, drinking, listening to songs. Mm. I know I ain't hear what I just heard. I know I ain't hear what I just... Oh, wow. I know I ain't hear what I just heard. Um, Four ones with the cherry and the nine of cups. Somebody want things to move forward with you. Make sure you're protecting your energy constantly from this person. 
make sure you always, you know, just being mindful of your surroundings. Because I just heard something very disturbing. Okay. Give me some more messages on this period. Yeah, make sure you, you don't, because I, I hope this this person ain't drinking and driving and do something crazy. L you know, looking for you, driving around your home. You know, this person could just be, not be in the a, in a, in a best of state right now. Somebody could definitely be driving past your house, you know, drinking obsessively, you know, thinking about you. Yeah, Six of Cups. This person is reminiscing about you constantly, about the past. How they could have, should have, would have did things. Somebody feels empty without you. Very empty. Somebody feels like only you can make them better. Oh, I'm telling you, only you can make them better. The star card with the will of fortune. Your life could have changed and taken over with the eight of pentacles, with the queen of cups. Somebody just feel like it just faded for them to be with you. They just feel like you're part of their destiny. And somebody feels like they ruined that. Somebody feels like somebody who was part of my destiny, who who, who was a gift to me, I could have possibly ruined it. You was very nurturing with this Queen of Cups, very loving and caring to this person. You was a sweetheart. But what this person didn't know as well, if you had to be a savage, you was going to be a savage. Meaning to where it, took, it, it was nothing for you to pull your energy back because you gave this person enough rope to hang themselves. A lot of you guys, you focused on work, okay? Some type of shift, something happened for you. It could have definitely put you in the spotlight or just help you to heal from this person. Something has changed in your life and this person has noticed it and they watching you from afar. It's like somebody watching your life just, just, somebody watching your life just go and take off. I'm also here on growing pains. So somebody had watched you grow past, you know, so many, um, um, grow past, grow through all these pains that you went through. I'm picking up on growing pains. Somebody thought because when they got you that they could just do you any way. No, it don't go like that. Somebody like, I know my word. And this person wanted you to be patient with them. Two of Wands. This is somebody, the way how this Two of Wands looking at the Six of Cups, it's like somebody looking back at the past wishing that they would have made a better decision. Made a better choice. Yeah, whoever this King of Cups is. Your, the, your counterpart. But with this Queen of Swords and the Moon card, I feel like whoever this Queen of Swords is and this Moon was doing something, doing something in secret. Somebody, somebody, it was a third party that had some parts of this too. What's this? Five of Wands. Yeah. This person could have definitely betrayed you and put you in competition with others. Somebody's regretting that. Spirit, give me a call on the Four of Wands. I feel like this person, whoever this deep and deaf was, like the Spirit said, they could have been stealing your time, your energy. You know, your finances, whatever. This person was sneaky. Give me a card on the four of wands, Holy Spirit. Four of wands with the chair, um, the um, queen of cups. That's how this person sees you. Love and caring, very stable. Wifey material, mother of material. You know, there's no gender in tarot. Okay, this could be father material. Um, husband material, just just very just very grounded and loving and caring and nurturing. Somebody sees themselves marrying you, growing old and great with you. Somebody wants things to move forward with you guys. But they also, I feel like somebody is drinking a lot in the in the head because they're constantly reminiscing with the six of cups about the past, about the decisions that they made. Somebody can't get out their head about fucking up what they did. I'm telling you.
What's the cherry at least here? Cherry is clarified with the Knight of Swords. God don't it. <laughs> Somebody is coming in quick. Quick. Wow. Yeah. The higher friend with the two of swords. King of Pentacles. Somebody definitely um <laughs> somebody sees you as the one. Somebody wants to marry you. They do. I feel like you don't even see this on because you're so focused on yourself. Um, I just see the Eight of Pentacles and the Higher Frank. Okay? You so focused on, you know, work, being loyal to the most high. A Taurus could be significant as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's the Nine of Cups, Holy Spirit? What's the Nine of Cups? This person is going to come in quick and offer you something. Damn, the Nine of Cups is clarified with the King of Cups and the Tower. So whoever this person is in love with you, this person is having an epiphany. And they are... Mm -mm, somebody... Something something went off in this person. Like, again, I hope this person is not overly drinking, driving, you know. Because I heard something earlier. I just, I just hope this person is being safe. Just being safe. This person is not... They feelings is all over the place right now for you. Whoever this reading is resonating to, somebody is, uh, somebody's in love. Somebody's in love with you, okay? King of Cups in the tower with this person is having a sudden epiphany. It's like something just like new. I got to have this person. They're like, I got to have this person. If somebody found out or seen you with somebody else, I'm telling you, it wouldn't be nice. It wouldn't be nice. Mm. Nine of Cups is clarified with the King of Cups and the Tower. Whoever this person is that's in love, okay, this person's emotions is all over the place when it comes to you, but it's just that because of the fact that they know they're in love, they see you as the person. And somebody is a regret because they feel like they didn't do right by you. Somebody is now in the Tower. Give me a card on the Six of Cups, Holy Spirit. Cup speaks about emotion. There's so many cups out here. King and Queen of Cups, two divine counterparts. I feel like both of you guys lo um, love each other. It's just that, you know, with you, I feel like you're more focused on, um, you know, working your stability, you know, and, and still going through the process of healing from what this person had put you through. You may call it the Six of Cups, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Yeah, for what this person do, healing. Yeah, justice. The world card. A Libra or Aquarius can be some nigga fit with the higher friend. I mean a hermit. I feel like you you going with that right now. Somebody feels like you you guys belong together. And deep down inside, they 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 saying they feel like you know you know that they right. You know that they right. You know that you guys belong together. That's how they feel. This person could be experiencing some type of chest pain. Spirit, give me a card on the Six of Cups. Somebody feels like if you really love them, how can you just leave? How can you just close out the cycle? Somebody thought you was going to stick around. The lovers. The Six of Cups was clarified with the lovers. With the shrimp card. Somebody is trying their hardest to hold on to this person, to you, Sunseeds. They are. They don't want this to be over. They don't. What's this? Six of Pentacles? They could have had a choice in the past between you and somebody else. This person could have definitely breadcrumbed you. could have found out about something that hurt your feelings and you decided to pull back. The spirit is saying with the um, page of pentacles, ace of cups, eight of wands, six of pentacles. You have new love coming in. It could be at a distance. Um, 
So you, a lot of you guys are going to have a choice between a new love and a past person. It's two people that's coming, in, are coming up in your energy. It's a new person that wants to come in. And then you have this person from your past. Mm. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Gemini energy out here. <coughs> Somebody wants you to love them again like how you used to love them in the beginning. Somebody wants that same love you gave them in the beginning. They, they, they feel like this time will be different. If you just give me that love again that you gave me in the beginning, I do things different. Somebody don't want you to let them go. They don't. Give me a call to the, the lovers, Holy Spirit, the lovers and the shrimp. Please and thank you. They don't want you to let them go. Damn. Five of Wands with the Eight of Cups. They don't want you to let them go. They like, if you give me that same love that you gave me in the beginning, I do things right. But this person put you in. You didn't. That competition, somebody put you in competition. When you tried to confront this person, this person was argumentative. Mm. This person will listen to people around them that was toxic. This person feels empty without you. They want you to try. Just try, I'm hearing. Lovers and shrimp was clarified with five of ones, eight of cups. It's like you left, you left the building. But this person is lonely without you. They are. Give me a card on this false person adjudication, Holy Spirit. Somebody feels somebody knows that you got a lot of love for yourself. They know that. Spirit, what's this false person adjudication? Thank you. Justice and King of Wands in reverse. Whew. This person is receiving karma. I told you. What did I tell you? My adjudication is always my spiritual card. Look at these cards. Could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or fire, any fire sign. But this person right here, fourth person adjudication, look at this. Somebody's under, I heard judgment. This person receiving karma for what they did. I told you to begin the sun seeds. What did I say? Somebody just thought, you know, you know, everybody could have wanted this person. Everybody could have been on this person. And you could have had that. You could have, you could have got that same attention. You see the queen of wands and the sun card in the beginning, but I feel like you was humble with it. Like you, you was like, nah, I could turn up if I want, but I ain't even going to do that. Cause I'm too humble. Like I, I, I know what it is. I know what I know. I know I'm, I know I'm good. I know, I'm, you know, I know I'm good. I know, like, basically, yeah, you, you got that you that confidence in you. You understand? You you know you the shit, period. Right? But you you somebody who very humble. Like, if you turned up, oh, it'd be a bigger problem. But you humble. You don't got to do all of that. You know you don't got to do all of that. And you love just chilling, being, you know, low-key. You, you know, you, you, love, you love being low-key. You like that. But somebody else was just like, hmm. I'm a show off. I'm a do this. I'm happy I got you. And you know, and da da da. Like, somebody thought they was good in bed. They did whatever they was. Somebody just thought you was going to stick around and be patient. They did. This person just did the most. I'm hearing a plan on one be a plan no more, probably. Okay, yeah, what's the king of one to be really bad? High Priestess, Pisces, Energy, High Priestess, the Ace of Cups. Mm. Somebody wishing that they would have listened to their intuition when it came to giving you this cup of love. They just thought they had enough time. Mm. But something changed. Will of Fortune, the World Card. Whatever cycle closed out, it caused a major change. Capricorn, Sagittarius, energy. 
It was something about your energy that was very pure. Okay? It was very pure. You can have Leo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn please miss it here on chart. But, um... Mm -mm. Even if this is, was your divine counterpart, which we see, energetically, your energies didn't match. This person was still in a lower, vi lower vibration so And you will be in this high vibration or, or patient and balance in this um, earth angel energy and this person out here running around in a lower vibrational energy. Being toxic. Somebody is reminiscing and like, damn, I should have listened to my intuition. This person feels very empty without you. And they said they feel terrible for hurting you. I know this person loves you because I can feel it. What's the problem on the Holy Spirit? What's the problem on What's the problem on the Holy Spirit? Five of Wands, Ace of Swords. You will see some type of truth and clarity about this person having you in competition. Okay? Listening to others. It was too much with this person that caused you to walk away. It was just too much. It was like, once you found out whatever truth that you needed, it was like, for some of you guys, it was the final draw. The competition, the lying, the cheating with the king of wands in reverse, messing around, sleeping around, it would just cause you to walk away. Empress, your energy with the magician, three of wands. This person is trying to manifest you back in. Somebody thought you was going to wait on them. They did. Somebody was trying to manifest you back in because they thought you was going to wait. They thought you was going to wait, Empress. But with the Ten of Wands being in reverse, you dropped that burden. For a lot of you guys, you was married to this person in a commitment with this person. Or just dealing with whoever. This person could have been. This King of Pentacles and Four of Cups is giving me someone that was like very materialistic. Okay? So all this person cared about was dressing up. You know, having the latest stuff. But when it comes to like responsibilities and, and you know showing you love and affection and doing what they what they promised that they would do when they first got you they didn't do that no they let these five of swords people okay get in their head with the seven of cups okay out there turning up doing the most while you over here six of swords page of wands getting messages from the most high your guys like nah get up out of there Cause this person, what they're doing right now, I don't want you. I don't want this karma to hit you. Okay. The ten of wands in reverse. You put you put a burden to friends. Anything else on the spirit before we close this out? Queen of Swords, the Emperor, and the Death card. There's a, a significant whoever this third this it's a third party, somebody around that wanted this person not to like even rock with you or deal with you like that. This is your divine counterpart with this emperor and this empress. But it's somebody who who wanted this person to walk away from you. They could have been telling this person like a bunch of lies about you. What's the Queen of Swords energy, Holy Spirit? What's the Queen of Swords? Please, thank you. Getting like somebody wanted somebody to like, like just give up on this. They could have been giving this person bad advice. Oh, that's a lot, Holy Spirit. Look, it can't look up. Look how the cars is. Queen of Swords, right? The Hermit and the Magician. Mm. 
Thank you. Okay, so we have the higher front with the sun card, six of pentacles. So something could have got exposed. You could have found out this person was in a um could have found out this person was in a commitment behind your back. Could have you could have found out this person was married. Maybe they was married, they told you they was getting divorced, or they was in separation, or they could have told you that um they had a bad breakup with somebody from their past. But whoever this, this other person was, they still had ties to them. The fool card, knight of wands, the emperor came back out. Whoever this emperor is, um, this emperor was out here. Just, I just, you know, I just gotta be honest. They was out here fucking around. They was sexing around, okay? Knight of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. For some of them, they could have been paying for it, okay? The Fool card, this is somebody that feels like a damn ass, okay? Because with the Sun card being here, something got exposed. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you felt like this person was um, married. Yeah, four wands with the um, the lovers. You could have found out this person was living with somebody else. There's a lot going on behind your damn back. Mm. But with this six of pentacles, not the ones that give me that somebody could have been out here. You know what? Out here even paying for it. Mm. What's the um, six of pentacles, not the ones? This person was doing a lot. Ooh, seven of wands. What's the seven of wands? What they were trying to tell me? What they trying to tell me? Four of wands. Ooh, four of wands in reverse though. This person didn't. But this person didn't. Um. I feel like this person, uh, they didn't protect themselves the way they should have. They didn't protect their stability. They didn't, they didn't protect the way they, what they lady head at. Somebody was out here moving reckless. The death card, ace of wands. Six of swords. I feel like whoever this person was living with or whoever they was married with, this person is done with that. This person is over that. That connection is over with. That is over with. Whatever got exposed, even if you didn't want to deal with this person anymore, that is over with. A page of Pentacles on the floor. This person is is oh this. What is that? Nine of Swords on the floor. So this person is up all night. About yeah, the lovers. Somebody is up all night because somebody was running off a of lust and sex. Yeah, somebody see you be big boss around town doing very well for yourself. Somebody regret that. What's the four ones in reverse? Somebody probably don't even have a home right now. Damn. Somebody could have lost everything. What's this? Seven of Pentacles. You reap what you sow. Whatever you put out in the universe is what you're going to get back. Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Somebody felt like you started over. You got a whole new brand new beginning. Um, somebody wants this with you as well. But with the Ten of Swords coming up in sideways, they feel like... This betrayal that they did it to you in the past with the Six of Cups, they feel like they're standing in the way. This somebody that if they came back to you, they want to just start over. They don't want to talk about what happened in the past. They just want you guys to move on from whatever betrayal this was. This person could have walked away from you and gave a commitment to someone else and then lied to you about it. Five of Swords, I'm telling you, they did something sneaky. Five of Swords, um... What's that? Five of Swords, um, Ten of Cups. Whew. Give me a card on, um, somebody is, somebody watching you do very well for yourself and they looking back like, damn, I ain't give this person enough time, my energy. I gave it to the wrong damn person. I gave it to the false person. That's who I gave it to. Mm. 
That's why you got the King of Wands reversed and the Justice. Yeah, King of Wands are right, right here with the Three of Pentacles. With the Moon card. It was a lot of secrets and deception. This person puts you in a third-party situation. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords. This person explored the options. And you just, you decided to move on. Give me one more card before we close this out, Spirit. What was that? One more card. Judgment. The Tower. This person is under judgment with the Most High. Five of Pentacles. You got to be careful how you do these divine beings. I'm telling you. Five of Pentacles again under the bottom, under here. You know I cannot make it up. I cannot look at this, Sunsee. Five of Pentacles in the judgment. I just flipped the deck over. Look at this. Five of Pentacles in the judgment. Spirit is not playing. Spirit coming through. Look at this. Damn. Spirit is not playing for somebody at all. At all for what they've done to you. Ooh. Somebody didn't take their time with you. They didn't do things right. Somebody just, damn. I bet you after this situation, this person won't even think about trying to be a player no more. They won't. And they appreciate, you know, you know, good people when they when when spirit blessed them with them. Damn. Yeah. The way how this two of ones looking at this six of cups, it's like, damn, I wish I would have just made better decisions in the past. You know, but you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Yeah. The wedding and the gift with the wife. Somebody realizing you was the gift the whole time. Death card and deep was clarified with adjudication at fourth person. Damn. Mm. This being scholar, this person is going through it. This person saying, you are the love of my life. This is Six of Cups, reminiscing. I love you. I feel empty without you. I feel terrible for hurting you. I check on you from afar. Hmm. What's up, Steve? I hope this meeting helped you, gave you guys clarity on your situation. You know, some understanding, okay?